What's up everybody? Today we're getting a little mail day as well as we're going to talk about my picks for the Stanley Cup Finals which is about to start soon uh, and I am going to start off with the modern mail day cards. We've got six of these cards here starting off with the Miko Rantanen 2023 All-Star card uh, and this is like a foily card, rainbow foil or something which is numbered to 350 and then we've got an outburst parallel of the checklist with Kale McCarr and Eric Carlson I'll go nicely with the outburst of the uh, McKinnon and Kaprizov that I have as well and then I picked up this Jonathan Druin uh, marquee rookie Almost a color match there with the blue, a little bit lighter blue uh, on the border. There's the back. And then I picked up a few OPG Platinum cards here. First off is the Casey Middlestat uh, Seismic Gold card. And the Seismic Golds are numbered to 50. This one's number 47 of 50. And this is the 2019-2020 set. And I've got another one here of Nazem Kadri, back when he was on the Avalanche. And that one is 49 of 50. And then the uh, I noticed that the same seller had another card that I was able to add uh, for a pretty good price for the two of them. Um, this is the Orange Checkers Parallel, which is numbered to 25. So five of 25. So I don't know. I might have to go back and see what other uh, Platinum Cadres I have and maybe look into doing a nice little rainbow with this one, especially getting that Orange Checkers. So, um, And then we'll get on to our final card, my recent pickups here. This one is a Tim Horton 1969 Tops card. Uh, it's in a PSA 4 slab. And to me, it looks pretty nicely centered. Um, pretty decent corners, especially for 4. And this is my first uh, Tim Horton uh, playing era card. And there's the back. Back's a little bit more off center. Um, with it kind of shifted up and to the left. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of slowly adding to my vintage hockey collection. Um, mostly collect Avalanche cards, so there aren't any Avalanche um, vintage cards. Uh, I guess I could look into the Nordiques a little bit and uh, the, uh, uh, the Colorado Rockies. They've got some cards in the 70s, um, but uh, the 60s would be kind of out of luck. So I'm starting to look at other uh, Hall of Famers and stuff in the vintage era. But happy to grab that one, add that to the collection. Now, as far as tonight's game and this series between the Florida Panthers and Edmonton Oilers, uh, I think these are both very great teams, and I'm excited to see both of these teams in the finals. Of course, I wish it was my avalanche there, but if I had to pick, I would have to go with the Edmonton Oilers in six. So I know right now a lot more people are kind of leaning toward the Florida Panthers. I think the Florida Panthers do have a more balanced four lines, um, and you can see that in their point production throughout the playoffs, uh, whereas the Edmonton Oilers, is they're very top-heavy. Their top five point producers stand out above the rest of their team so it is going to depend on that big line the the top guys for Edmonton your McDavid and Drysaddle, Bouchard, Hyman, uh, Brian Nugent Hopkins like those are your points producers uh, for Edmonton and if they can continue to do that if they can get past uh, Florida's shutdown um, try their attempt to shut down uh, I think Edmonton can then pull it off uh, but uh, yeah, I'm excited either way. Uh, I think you know, the Florida Panthers, what, they haven't won a Stanley Cup final. And the Edmonton Oilers haven't won for, 
I forget, it's like 30 years or something. It's It's been quite a while. I don't remember off the top of my head, but uh, it's been a while. So I'd be happy to see either of these teams uh, lift the cup here at the end of the finals, but that'll do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.